Hi, my name is James. I am one of the house technicians here at Festival Place in Shore Park, Alberta. Um, our current production is Singing in the Rain, and I just wanted to give a little backstage tour of the rain system and how it all works. So we'll start here with the floor. When the water comes down, um, it'll hit the flat surface of the floor, which we call the rain deck. And it pools up in the middle, which gives a great amount of water for splashing uh, for Dawn, and it works really well. Uh, it also pools up, kind of goes towards the outside edges, and it falls through the slits in the floor that we've cut. Below the slits, there's a ramp surface covered in an industrial pond liner, basically the size of the stage. And it, all the water goes down the ramp to this side. After the water comes down the ramp on the, under the stage, it comes into a floor trough here uh, underneath all of this. <laughs> and in here is a pump. Uh, it's just a regular sump pump rated to 100, 120 degrees. Uh, it's three quarter horse. And uh, the, after the float valve fills up, the, after the trough fills up, activates the pump and pumps the water back into the tanks. There are two 150 gallon tanks over here. And there is a three stage filter system. So there's a mechanical filter, a UV filter, and some activated carbon as well to help keep it clean. Um, we did find that we had to change the water every three shows or so just to keep it cleaner. Um, there's also six heaters in here, four 1,000 watt heaters and two 300 watt heaters and it heats up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit for the, for the show and uh, it recovers fairly well after. We lose about 10 degrees during the rain scene and then uh, it takes about an hour for it to get back, get back to 100 and it's pretty good. So. There's also two one horsepower pumps at the bottom of these pipes. Uh, that are the main pumps to pump the water up through the two-inch lines all the way to the top, which I'll describe in a, in a second. Uh, there's some um, check valves here as well. Keep the water weight in the pipes because we're a fly house. We need to make sure the weight on the pipe stays approximately the same. So that check valve keeps the water up there. It's really handy. And then there's a flow valve here for a bypass, so I don't want all of the water of the pumps to go up there, it'd be too much flow, so we use that just to let some of the water back into the tank. And then as the water goes up the pipes, what we have up there is two lines of rain pipes. They're a three inch pipe with holes along the sides, and as the water comes down off the pipe, it falls off the pipe, hits uh, door screen material, window screen, and that's what breaks it up into little rain droplets, and then it comes down and hits the floor. And that is all for our rain.